Hello again. Tonight's Advent story is called A Christmas Story. It's by Madeline Ireland. Jack was a boy, much like any other boy. Tucked up in bed that early December night, like all Scottish children, he knew that Christmas this year was going to be different. But Jack had an extra problem. His dad had Covid. Jack lay awake worrying. His dad was a scientist who worked in a laboratory making medicine. So while other people's fathers worked from the dining room table or the spare room cramped next to the ironing board and mounting Christmas boxes, his dad had been going to work every day as usual. Jack wasn't quite sure what his dad did at work. It was top secret, but he imagined it might be inventing a pill to stamp out all the sad, lonely and empty feelings you got when you were socially isolating and couldn't play with your friends. In any case, his dad had come home coughing before he finished it. Now he spent his days lying in bed, burning with fever, while Jack crept, playing quietly, willing him to get better. Jack must have eventually fallen asleep, for he woke suddenly. A robin sang sweetly at the window, as if it was wanting to come in from the cold, bitter morning. Jack put on his slippers, walked over to the window and opened it expecting the robin to fly away in fright, but instead the robin walked into the warm room and chirped as if to say thank you. Jack stood there astonished at the robin's actions. The robin settled down on the windowsill. Jack got back into bed, leaving the window open so that the robin could fly out and fell back to sleep. When Jack woke up again, it was morning, but the robin was still singing the same tune sweetly from the tree outside his window. Jack's mother called, breakfast is ready. Jack hurried down the stairs and sat down at the table. He ate his toast hurriedly, but he thought to save some crumbs for the robin outside, hoping that he had not flown away. He got up quickly and ran back upstairs. He was pleased to see that the robin was still there. Jack started to get ready to go out, but then remembered that he was self-isolating because of his dad. Instead, he spent the day reading, chatting on Zoom and playing video games, while the robin kept him company from his perch on the window ledge. The rest of Advent went very much like that morning. The robin kept visiting and Jack kept feeding him. Jack was worried about his dad and lonely and sad without his friends, but the robin made him feel less alone. It was Christmas Eve. The sun was just coming up as Jack jumped out of bed and rushed across to the window to find that it had snowed. He threw open the window to see if his friend was there. Good morning, Robin, he called happily as he spotted him on a nearby holly tree. And the Robin fluttered across, landing on the window ledge. To his huge surprise, the Robin opened his beak wide and said, Hello, can I help with your dad as thanks for you taking me in from the cold? and feeding me every day. Jack was too astonished to reply. He had never met a talking robin before. His mouth dropped open, but no words came out. Shocked, he eventually stuttered, you, you can talk? The robin replied, of course, I can always talk. Now, would you like me to help your dad or not? Ye yes, obviously, Jack replied. I'm going back to my world to get something that will help. And with that, the robin flew off. He returned just minutes later with a golden pill in his beak. Both of them rushed to his dad's room. The robin dropped the pill into Jack's dad's sleeping mouth and almost immediately they could see the fever seep out of his tired, restless body. This might seem unbelievable, but it isn't really. If you're looking for a happy ending, being kind is a good place to start. Things that seem very small and unimportant, when enough people do them, often enough, sometimes they have a good way of snowballing, especially at Christmas, so that really big good things can suddenly seem to come from nowhere. Even though Jack had been lonely and frightened and was only 10 years old, he never hesitated to help the cold little robin that came to his window. Of course, <laughs> he had no idea that he was really an interdimensional magical robin that came from another part of time and space and could instantly cure his dad if he wanted. That's how kindness works. 
You just have to keep doing little things that make the world a bit better and sometimes, just sometimes, you get lucky and everyone wins. Just then his mother came into the room with his father's breakfast tray. Jack caught the flicker of a frown pass her face for disturbing his dad when he'd, been, when he'd been expressly told not to. Then his father woke up and it immediately became clear to them all that he was completely well again. Jack ran over to his dad and hugged him. His mother beamed. It was going to be a happy Christmas after all. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much, Madeline. What a lovely story. <laughs> I hope you enjoy tonight's advent story. Don't miss out on the chance of some more Christmas magic by booking my new online Santa at home grotto now. The elves and I have been very busy getting the Wi-Fi sorted out in the North Pole so that we can all meet and chat together via Zoom and have a right good Christmas party together. Book now at santaathomeofficial.com. Merry Christmas everyone. <laughs>